Okay, now haymaking. Uh, this has a scene uh, where the Teletubbies are, like, behind the hill in front of the house. And they say, boo! And yeah, it's kind of a short scene. They see the windmill in the background. There's this weird error, apparently. The bottom part of the windmill is seen when the Teletubbies are on screen. But when the windmill is heard spinning, it's not casting out pink sparkles. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that the windmill isn't fully on screen, like the top part isn't seen. I feel like that's why uh, it's like that, but I just call bullcrap on that. But yeah, apparently. I mean, yeah. It has a start spinning windmill clip, which I was always freaked out by. And then it has the... The part where the w camera zooms into the windmill at the beginning of the TV event is cut short. I think the TV event music is out of sync as well. But, yeah. Uh, the TV event, I think, like... Yeah, Lala's chosen. They have different audio uh, second time. I think when the, the event begins, uh, her antenna glows a few seconds earlier than usual. But yeah, uh, various bird stock bird sound effects are heard uh, throughout this entire event, which I only noticed recently. But yeah, uh, uh, so yeah, um, yeah, like these kids are making like this playhouse out of hay or something, you know, kind of like one of the three little pigs or something. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, and then the magic tree. The magic tree starts a lot differently. The magic tree starts a lot differently than usual. When it shows the camera zooming into the windmill, it hit, we hear the first part of the magical vent tune, and the, at the same time we hear the magic tree music playing, and then the magic tree just begins uh, without the Teletubbies listening for a noise. Uh, ironically, the Sun Baby clip that's usually shown at the beginning of a magical event is shown at the end. Actually, this magical event, I think, is shown at the end of the Sunday special version. So, yeah. And then, uh, uh the scene where the Teletubbies are taking their favorite things to, uh, the table to have some tubby toes. In this episode, they used a reverse opening shot. Like, they use the opening shot from uh, Making Flowers when Lala found a watering can, but it's in reverse. Actually, I think this is the last episode to have that opening shot. I think these are the only two episodes to have that, apparently. But, yeah. The, the, like, while they're eating Tubby Toast, the new new tidies up all their favorite things except for Post Scooter. And they get tired when they try chasing the new new. So Poe chases him really fast on her scooter. When the Teletubbies say fast on their, her scooter, their mouths don't move, apparently. It's just kind of weird. But yeah. This is a weird Sun Baby clip at the end as well. But yeah. Lala's the missing Teletubby and Poe's the boo shouter. Naughty Cloud. Oh dear god. First off, as the opening scene from Feeding Chickens where... Uh, the, uh, Teletubbies are marching around the trees with a lot of differences this time. Um, it has the Home Hill 1 opening shot, and it kind of has the same field shot, but it's actually kind of an alternate take or something. But, yeah. Uh, the windmill clip is different. The scene is mirrored, and there's different music playing. I think the Teletubbies' dialogue is different as well. And, yeah. The windmill whooshing sound is still the same, though. Tinky Wiki is chosen for the TV event. Basically, I think what's going on is that funny lady is trying to uh, water a flower. Yeah, this weird fake-looking flower. But this naughty cloud keeps bumping her head. Bumping into her head. And then the next segment, an umbrella appears. Poe finds an umbrella and doesn't know what to do with it. Until a rain cloud and a voice trumpet just magically appear and start singing Rain, Rain, Go Away or something. Actually, they sing it, it's raining, it's pouring, apparently. And yeah. And then Poe opens up the umbrella and uses it to get dry. 
And then the umbrella disappears, but it's still raining. And the voice trumpet starts singing, Rain, Rain, Go Away. So, yeah. And then uh, they do the running away dance. It's the extended version this time. Uh, in this version, the Teletubbies actually cheer in the middle uh, of the dance. Like, when they're about to do the dance a second time. So, yeah. In uh, the Sunday special version, they do the stamping, stepping dance instead. And then after that, uh, the camera cuts to the windmill spinning for a magical event without the Teletubbies saying, uh-oh. There is an episode where that happens, but we'll get to that much later. So yeah, it's the Animal Parade. It's the same version from Digging in the Sand for Worms. So yeah. And then uh, the voice trumpet's rising is slightly delayed. I don't really know what to say about it. Um, Lala's the bow shouter and Dipsy's the missing Teletubby. Um, in this episode, uh, uh, actually... Uh, uh, during when the umbrella appeared, the narrator said, One day, in Teletubby Land, something appeared from nowhere. Yeah, instead of saying something appeared from far away, he said something appeared from nowhere. Also, this is the 50th episode. And uh, for the 50th episode, this is what we got, apparently? I don't know. I mean, Poe does so much in this episode. I mean, this is Poe's big episode, apparently. So, yeah. She appears in all the segments in this video. In this episode, whatever. I want to be a vet. The title's just list misleading. This sounds like the name of a Barney episode. Like, a kid wants to, like, grow up to be a vet and pretends to be one. Well, let's just see what happens. As a scene where the Teletubbies are, are walking along the hills. Tinky Winky's walking along the hills. And then every time he passes by, another Teletubby shows up. Apparently, it's kind of weird. Dipsy's chosen for a TV event. See, the girl is actually taking, like, her pet bunny to a vet. She's not pretending to be a vet. She's just taking her, her pet bunny to a vet. Like, yeah. And then uh, this next scene uses a closing shot as an opening shot. Poe was playing a hiding game while riding our scooter. After she's riding our scooter, she uh, is wants to play a hiding game where she hides behind the tubby toaster and pops out and says boo and scares the other Teletubbies. Each Teletubby does it one by one, but then the new new tidies up all the Teletubbies' favorite things except for, again, Poe's scooter. So, Poe's scooter can fit inside Tinky Winky's bag, but it cannot be tidied up by the Nunu. So yeah, they chase the Nunu. And then at the end of the segment, they use a rare closing shot and Sun Baby clip. Dips is missing Teletubby. Lala's the boo shouter. Ned's potatoes. Nobody here busts potatoes. Oh my god. Um, this one has a scene... Uh, where the Teletubbies are trying to make Tubby Custard. They keep bouncing and stuff... When they make the tubby custard, they start bouncing and they start spilling their tubby custard everywhere. But yeah. Yeah, they spill it everywhere, apparently. But yeah. But yeah, apparently. I don't know what to say. It's a crazy scene. Like, what the hell? And then the zoomed out windmill clip is shown. The TV event plays. Tiki Wiki is chosen. Uh, the kid Ned from Ned's Bicycle is now helping his grandma pick out some potatoes. So yeah. Apparently. So yeah. In the Sunday special version, after the TV event, the animal parade starts. So yeah. But after that, uh, there's this weird pointless scene... It's full stock footage. They use stock footage of the Teletubbies going down the slide with the Nunu watching them go down. And then they go out the door. And then they go do the jumping dance. Uh, in this episode, uh, the camera cuts to the voice trumpet. So yeah. Lala's the missing Teletubby and Poe is the boo shouter. Digging in the sand for worms. Oh god. Um, but yeah, 
This one has the same opening scene from Photo Faces where they're running along the hills. This time it has a different field shot, uh, the re-recorded dialogue from Music with Debbie 1, uh, and it has the different TV event music from that episode as well. But everything else is practically it's the same segment from the original Photo Faces episode. But yeah, Lala's chosen for a TV event, different audio this time. So yeah, Andy Brown is gonna uh, help some kids dig up some worms in the sand. And that's gross. And disgusting. Speaking of worms, there's actually a magical event we're gonna see later on in this episode. That kind of involves that. Um, uh, yeah... Um, this scene, this next scene, um, it has, like, the extended opening music just without the Field 1 opening shot, but the music is kind of shortened, which I thought that was kind of weird. But, uh, Poe and uh, Lala are having trouble taking turns playing on the scooter, so yeah. It's a crazy scene. They just want to play on the scooter. But yeah. But yeah, it's kind of crazy. As a zoomed out windmill clip, and they run off to watch a magical event. Again, it's the slow magical event tune. And it's the animal parade, which has a butterfly in it. An episode about worms. E. Oh, dear God. I just can't go a single second without referencing Wormy and referencing my hatred for that episode of Spongebob. At the end of the uh, event, they use the clip of the baby son giggling from the tiptoe dance, uh, you know, when they do the extended version. But instead of that, they do uh, the, uh, the stamping and stepping dance, which is the shortened version. The beginning part is actually cut, apparently. It just starts with the part with them marching. Which, I remember when I first saw this, that was kind of weird. There's also a weird Sun Baby clip at the end of the... Uh, of the dance, apparently. It's in the Sunday special version, instead of the Animal Parade, they do the three ships. And instead of the Stamping and Stepping dance, they do the extended version of the Running Away dance. Yeah, apparently there are a lot of Sunday specials with the Running Away dance. I kind of thought they all had the shortened version, because I did see one episode that had the shortened version, but no. Pose the missing teletubby and Tiki Wiki's the boo shouter. Sarah Fraser and the ducks. Yeah, there's this opening scene. It's the same opening scene from Numbers 1, where the voice trumpet was playing a nursery rhyme about the number 21. But here it's quacking like a duck, which was kind of crazy. And they fixed the part where the TV event starts, which started kind of weirdly in that episode. TV event, they have different Poe audio the second time. And, like, they have the, the original Poe audio for when she's chosen the first time, but it's kind of different a little bit. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, these kids are, like, feeding, like, a bunch of bread to a bunch of ducks. And then Poe is, like, showing this trick where she can t catch Tubby Toast uh, from the Tubby Toaster. But the Nunu does the trick as well and tidies it up. Yeah, and she chases the Nunu and sees the zoomed-in windmill clip. And then she watches the three ships, which the Sun Baby is silent at the beginning uh, of the event. And I noticed a lot of episodes with the three ships, the baby son screams at the end of the event. I think that's what happens here as well. And they do the shortened version of the tiptoe dance once again. Apparently in the Sunday special version, the windmill stops spinning. Uh, and uh, then uh, uh, they show footage from photo faces where the teletubbies say, uh-oh, run off. Which, I thought that was weird, but also intriguing. I just thought it was weird, because there is one episode where the windmill starts spinning for a TV event after the dance, but they use footage from a different scene. But we'll talk about that some other time. The voice trumpet's rising is delayed. Tiki Weeks is the missing Teletubby, and Dipsy is the boo shouter. That's it for now.